Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing volume two of my bite-sized reviews, which is my series heavily inspired by LS, where I'm working through all of my makeup and skincare samples. I've moved them all to this little basket, but I still have quite a few samples. So first we're gonna go over the five samples that I picked out the last one in volume one, and then I'm going to pick five new samples, and I'll let you know what I think of the samples that I've used up. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and if you want to see any more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So my hair is a bit large and in charge. It actually, it's it's out of, I feel like an 80s like high schooler where like their hair for prom or for the yearbook is too big, it's out of frame. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's where the hair is today. So let's go through the five samples. I was able to use all of them except for one, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So the first sample that I used up was the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I did use this entire pouch. I used it in one application. I really liked the formula on this. It glided on. It didn't look cakey on my face. Like overall, I liked the formula, but the shade was way off. Like I, I, I think I put on a turtleneck this day because it was bad. Like it was almost orange on my skin, but I really wanted to try it out throughout the day. Day. it did last throughout the day um, but because the shade was so off I definitely wouldn't buy this right away but if I had the opportunity to sample it again in a different shade then I would definitely jump on that because I really did like the formula the next sample that I used I used the 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream from Peter Thomas Roth this is orange I tried using this as a highlighter one day and I had an orange streak and then I tried using it like on my decollete as a highlighter, orange. It would not blend in. It just looked orange. It looked so bad on my skin tone. I'm sure on someone of a deeper skin tone, this would be beautiful. But they do mention you can use this either all over your face as a cream or as a highlighter. I did try it as a highlighter and it just did not, not for me. <laughs> Definitely not for me. The next sample I had was from Dior. This is the Hydra Life Fresh Hydration Sorbet Cream. This was actually a really nice cream. It was light, it was really moisturizing, but it didn't sink into my skin right away, so it kind of sit, sat on top of my skin for a little bit, so I felt like my makeup went on just a little different than with my normal moisturizer, which sinks a little bit faster into my skin. Uh, overall, it was nice. Would I buy a full size? Probably not, because I'm sure it's really expensive from Dior. But would I, if I had another sample, would I take it with me traveling or something? Yeah, I would. I'd probably use it if I was doing like a minimal makeup day though. Like I wouldn't use this in the morning under like a full coverage foundation. Next, I have a cream from Chanel or a little sample of it. This is the Le Lift Firming Anti-Wrinkle Cream. This, I think, it's just not for my age bracket. It was way too heavy of a cream for me. I used it just under my eyes and it was, it was a lot. It didn't really sink into the skin. It's definitely like a nighttime cream. They say you could use it all over your face or just under your eyes, but I tried it all over my face and I just felt, like I felt it. It was there. I don't think I'm at the age where I need a cream that's this, like this heavy. I do like my routine right now. I'm using a retinoid, I'm using some vitamin C, I'm using 100% rosehip oil to get rid of some of my scarring, and that routine's working pretty well for me right now. I don't really think I need to start getting into like these really heavy eye creams just because I'm in my mid-20s. I don't know like if you should really, I don't even know when you really should be using like a heavy, heavy cream like this, but I don't think right now is the right time. <laughs> Definitely not with my routine right now. And the last sample, I actually still have a little bit in here, so I'll probably keep this in my little sample drawer for the next couple of weeks until I use it. This is the Living Proof TBT Multitasking Style Cream. So this is actually like a blowout cream that you would use in your hair when it's wet and then you would blow dry and straighten it. I've only used half of this because I've actually stopped using heat on my hair. I talked about it in my last Get Ready With Me. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up above. But I'm actually trying to go all natural with my hair. So that means it's going to be its poofy, curly self for as long as I can. So I actually haven't used heat in nearly two weeks, which is why this is only half empty right now. On its own, I did try it like without heat or anything. On its own, it's way too heavy for my hair. It just weighs down my hair. Um, it was a nice blowout cream. I will give it that. But since I'm trying not to use heat 
on my hair right now there really isn't an opportunity for me to use this anymore i'll hold on to it for a little bit but i'm trying not to use heat so if i don't use this in the next couple of weeks i'll probably just throw out the rest of the packet okay so that was everything from last week so the way i picked out my products last week was i just picked them out of my little drawer slash bucket so i'm gonna pick out first i'm gonna pick out the first two and then i'm gonna pick out the last three I liked doing five at a time. I felt like that was a good combination of products. Two, let's do three first. Three. Okay. Okay, so product number one is from Corez. This is the Wild Rose Smoothie Brightening Priming Moisturizer. This actually sounds really, really nice. And it's rose. I don't know if it actually has like rose hip seed oil or anything in it. But let's see. Apply to the face and neck as a final step in your skincare before makeup, avoiding the eye area. Uh, ingredients, water, dimethyl. It's got jojoba seed oil in it. I'm not sure if it actually has rose hip seed oil in it, but I'm excited to try this out. And like it said, it's supposed to be like a primer. So it'd be nice to see how it works with my current makeup routine. Ooh, next I have a sample of the Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation from Giorgio Armani. It looks like this is in shade 3.5. I have no idea what it looks like. There isn't any like color on the package but it does have a whole little flap that has all the drug information on it um it does have a, a sunscreen in it so that's an active ingredient right here on the front so yeah i've never tried any foundations from armani before so i am really excited to try this one out hopefully the shade isn't too off <laughs> Okay, oh, next we have a concealer. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer 24 Hour Wear Matte Finish Oil Free. So they actually give you a nice variety of shades in here, all the way from 0.5 to 1.5 to 11.0 dark. Now they call this dark. I don't think it's really that dark, honestly. Like I, I'm sure this isn't their full range, but I don't think that's really as dark as it gets. I would probably use these two middle ones right here, most likely medium light or medium dark. I'm pr I could probably use one of them to spot conceal and then one under my eyes. I'm not sure how much you get like in each little pocket, but I do like that they actually give you a range of different samples here because it actually gives you the option of finding something that works for you because a sample is so much more effective when it's your actual shade as opposed to if I really like something but the shade is totally off, like it's not a good representation of the product. Okay, I'm gonna pick two more products. Let's see. Oh, ha, ha. Let's go down to the bottom. Okay, so this is actually another Cora's product. This is the Black Pine 3D Sculpting, Firming, and Lifting Super Eye Serum. So that's interesting. Um, so to work gently on the entire eye zone, start from the inner eye corner and apply on the lower lid eyelid to the temples. Continue on to the upper eyelid towards the brow line. That's interesting. I know a lot of eye creams where you're only supposed to use them like right here. You're really not supposed to bring them up and around. So I would be really interested in trying this out. I do have some fine lines under my eyes already. Just, you know, in your mid-20s. They're nothing deep set, but they are some really super fine lines down here. So I would like to see if this has any effect on those. And our last sample is from, what is this? This is from Erno Laszlo, I think. Erno Laszlo. It is the White Marble Dual Phase Vitamin C Peel. This sounds kind of intense. It's got like two steps, so it's two little pockets. Yeah, so it's a vitamin C peel. Step one is smooth peel over your face, avoiding eye areas, and massage gently for up to three minutes. Shade two, or shade two. Step two is you mix in the activator in your hands and a massage onto your face over the peel. Step three is after one minute, rinse well with warm water. Use weekly after you double cleanse. Okay, so that would be interesting. I haven't really tried any like peel or suit like extreme exfoliator at home before, but I do need a good exfoliant. So I am excited to try this one out. And I like that it gave you like both steps and all. I like the instructions too. It's nice to have them clear bright as day like you know what you're doing okay so those are our samples they're not all gonna fit in my drawer this time i'll probably fold up the the urban decay one let's see if it can make you fit there we go we got it to fit so those are my five samples i'll be using them hopefully in another week and a half or so i'll have used all of these up so i can give you my thoughts on those as well so thank you so much for watching this video i hope if you liked it you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye